Let's take a look at the areas that are important to the sound crew. The person in charge of making sure the audience hears great sound can have several different titles, depending upon what theater you're working in. That person can be called the front of house engineer, or FOH, production audio engineer, or simply the A1, which is short for audio number one. One of the most important things is that the front of house audio engineer sits in the middle of the auditorium, preferably about two thirds of the way back. This allows the audio engineer to hear exactly what the audience hears so he or she can make adjustments. Some theaters have the audio mix position in a glassed in control room, which is the worst possible position. We can't stress enough the importance of having the audio engineer in the house where he or she can hear what is happening on stage and get the proper balance. This is the original analog mixer, which was state of the art when the facility was constructed in 2003. The new digital mixer was installed in 2013. Sound equipment is constantly being improved and keeping up with the latest technology is very important to professional theaters. We'll be looking at both kinds of mixers in this program, analog and digital. The most common place sound originates in theater is on stage from the actors using mics. Do you remember the other three sources? Musical instruments using mics, musical instruments going directly into the mixer, and playback sources, like sound effects and incidental music. The most obvious place the sound ends up is in the auditorium or house. Let's look at an actor wearing a wireless mic on stage. An actor speaks into a mic and creates an electrical signal. The wireless mic sends the signal of the actor's voice to the belt pack the actor is wearing and the belt pack sends the signal to the antenna and one of the wireless receivers at the mix position. The receiver then sends the signal to the mixer, the brain of the sound system. Since the mixer is located in the middle of the house, the front of house engineer can hear exactly what the audience will hear and during technical rehearsals, the front of house engineer can smarten up the signal so it's exactly what the director and audio designer wants the audience to hear. We'll examine how to smarten up the signal using different kinds of equipment in just a little while. From there, the smartened up signal gets sent to an amplifier and then a center cluster of speakers over the apron of the stage. These are the primary speakers for the room. Behind these grills on either side of the stage, there are some front fill speakers for the people in the first few rows. There are under balcony fill speakers to make sure that the sound is carried all the way to the back of the room and a hearing impaired assistant listening system for those who have difficulties hearing. Everything the audience hears, actors, musical instruments, sound effects, and incidental music is referred to as the mix. This space is so well designed that at the back of the room, these drapes open up and close along with the fabric inside of these columns to make minor changes to the acoustics of the room. You can see that a whole lot of thought went into planning out the sound system here so the audience hears an impeccable mix.